welcome welcome everyone this is liz magic and i'm gonna show you guys how i make my jamaican black cake right over here on my counter these are all the ingredients i'll be using and as i show you guys in the previous video how i prepare the fruit for the black cake here we go right into it yogurt a lot of people might say yogurt yes molasses right here salt nutmeg all grated baking powder all spice almond essence vanilla browning guinness stout wine white rum i'll be using my spray bottle you'll see what i'll be using the spray bottle to do some flour eggs Remember the fruits that I prepare here? Puree my fruits, that's how I'm gonna use it. In this big bowl, I have dark brown sugar, brown sugar and my butter, which I'm gonna cream. I'm creaming my butter and my sugar together. After I finish doing my butter and my sugar, I will be doing my eggs and then I'll combine all three and don't worry guys I'll list all the ingredients as you can see guys it's getting creamy this is how it looks now there guys you see how creamy it looks like ice cream that's how smooth and creamy next I'm going to do my eggs I'm gonna start beating our eggs i'm just gonna put a little lemon zest in there just to, you know egg have a strong smell and sometimes it can get overpowered just a little lemon zest not much i put in there and then i'm gonna beat the egg the first step was to cream your sugar and your butter together and this is my next step add the eggs to the sugar and the butter mixture finish beating my eggs my next step i'm gonna add nutmeg allspice some molasses here my nutmeg allspice and some molasses i add that into the cream mixture mix them up and then i'll continue with the other ingredients add my eggs into my cream mixture blend everything in there so right now we have the cream mixture of the butter and sugar nutmeg allspice some molasses and now I just added the eggs into it. And I'm just gonna mix everything together, blend it all in. Some salt in there. I'm adding the vanilla. I'm adding the yogurt. I like using yogurt because it helps to make your cake moist. Keep that moist in your cake when you bake the cake. Some almond. Essence, I'm mixing everything in. Fruits, all this fruit that I have chopped up, I'm adding it into it. The flour will be the last thing I add in. So I'm just gonna mix it all in there. This amount that I'm making, I will get six two pound cakes out of it. When I first start baking, this was what I do. For every pound of butter, I add a pound of sugar and three eggs. So that's how I determine. A pound of butter, a pound of sugar, three eggs, and a pound of flour. If you guys notice, I had to put the mixture in a much larger container. I start with just a regular size 
and then as the mixture increase I put it in a larger container welcome welcome to all the new people thank you for watching this is Liz magic don't forget to subscribe and to press the like button and also don't forget to press the notification bell for all my YouTube and faithful people thank you thank you for always being there supporting me you guys don't forget to press the like button and continue to tell your friends your family even your neighbor about this magic thank you guys i do appreciate you all the next thing i'm gonna add is the browning there this is what give it that dark color black cake this is what give it that color this is another thing that i add guinness I use Guinness because Guinness give it a nice flavor and the malt in it keep the moist in your cake. So that's then I'm gonna blend everything together. So there guys I'm just blending in the ingredients working it in. I'm adding the flour into the mixture. I'm just gonna mix it in there. You guys see the color, how it is? I'm gonna add a little bit more browning into it. I want it to be a little darker, so. And here it is, guys. It's Grace Browning Caramel, so. Just a little bit more darker because remember now it's rum cake or black cake you can put it to as dark as you want it to it's up to you just gonna blend this in here I prepare my pan to bake my cake I spray it and then I put in some parchment paper at the bottom, you know, just to prevent it from sticking or burning. So here's my cake mixture in my bake pan. And I leave a two inch space from there because you don't want to put it right up to the top. As your cake bake, it's going to rise. So you want to leave that space for the cake to rise. And I'm going to put it in the oven to bake for an hour at 350. So we'll check in and I'll give you the next step. What I'll be doing with my white rum and my wine when the cake is finished. I mix a blend of white rum and wine together in the spray bottle when my cake is finished I'll show you what I'm going to do with it I'd do a half and half I didn't want to do only rum because you know what uh, kids will be eating the cake so I'm really conscious about that side of it of the amount of alcohol the kids will be consuming so stay tuned for the next step cake out the oven it's an hour since it's been baking so i'm gonna test it to see if it's finished baking what i do i use the knife and i just put it in the middle because the middle of the cake is the last part to bake and look at the knife if there was residue or wetness from the cake on my knife that would tell me that my cake still need more time baking and I would have to put it back in the oven for maybe five to ten minutes depending on how much time it needed the rum and wine mixture that I put in this bottle I'm gonna use it and I'm just gonna spray it on my cake while it's hot and out the oven so the cake will suck up all the 
alcohol this way this is some of the rum taste or the alcohol taste that you taste this is how you get some of your taste from your alcohol apart from what you put in your fruits when you when you get in your fruits ready for your cake this is another step so it's hot it will soak all that up there we go guys it's finished just like magic <laughs>